Hello, this is Mr. Adrian and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video, we are going to express decimals to fractions. So, umpisaan muna natin kapag ka ang i-convert nating decimal is terminating or merong katapusan. Example ng terminating decimals, we have 0.5. 0.2 and so on so once again ito yung terminating ibig sabihin natapos kagad yung kanyang decimal places dito or may katapusan non-terminating sa non-terminating hindi natatapos okay so dito i-explain natin ang repeating and non-terminating so sa repeating and non-terminating example 0.33333 and so on another example 0.121212 and so on so kung mapapansin nyo ang terminating natapos kagad siya sa repeating and non-terminating paulit-ulit yung digits at hindi natatapos okay so pagkatapos nyan so kapag terminating gagamitin natin yung konsepto ng place value so let us have a short recall on how you are going to read these decimals For example, we have this. Okay? This is read as 5 tenths. Tandaan nyo, nag-i-start ang place value ng decimal with tenths. Susunod, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. Kaya, kung ito naman ang babasahin natin, this is 56 hundreds. 56 hundreds. Kung isusunod natin ito, 567 thousands. Yung nag-e-end sa THS. And then, isunod natin to that is 5,678 ten thousands. Okay? So, ito naman ay 2 tenths. Kung meron tayong dadagdag dyan na 5, 25 hundreds. Kung magdagdag tayo ng 3, 253,000 and so on okay so let us convert terminating decimals first example number 1 convert 0.7 to fraction or convert 7 tenths to fraction so paano ulit siya basahin 7 tenths Or, ibig sabihin, out of 10, 7. So, that is 7 tenths. Okay? So, 7 tenths is 7 over 10. So, therefore, this is the fraction form. Okay? Next. Example number 2. Convert 35 hundredths to fraction. So, 35 hundredths ibig sabihin out of 100 35 okay then reduce this to its lowest term by dividing by the GCF of 5 so 35 divided by 5 is 7 100 divided by 5 is is 20 so therefore 35 hundredths is 7 over 20 okay Example number 3. Write 0.3333 and so on to fraction. So, this is an example of repeating and non-terminating decimal. So, the first step is to let x be equal to 0.3333 and so on. Okay. So, if you're going to take a look at the given decimal, 
there is only one repeating decimal place, so we need to multiply it by 10. Kapag dalawa naman, ang repeating decimal place, we will need to multiply it by 100. Pag tatlo, 1,000, pag apat, 10,000, and so on. So since na isa lang, multiply natin by 10, that will become 10x equals 2, magmumove lang yan ng isa, so magiging 3.3333 and so on. Okay. Next step is to subtract by this equation, by the equation number 1. Okay, so 10x equals 3.3333 and so on by x equals 0 0.333 and so on. If we are going to subtract, this will become 9x. And this will become, as you can see, magiging 0 na to lahat, no? So 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay, then solve for x. So solving for x, we need to divide it both sides by 9. So, we will get x equals 3 over 9. Simplifying this, this will become the GCF is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, therefore, 0 0.333 and so on is equivalent to 1 third. Okay? Let's go to the next example. Okay, example number 4, we will express 0 0.454545 and so on to fraction. So again, this is an example of repeating and non-terminating decimals. So, ang gagawin natin, let x be equals to 0 0.454545 and so on. This will be our equation number 1. So, let us create our equation number 2. So, to do that, ilang repeating decimal place meron tayo. So, as you can see, yung 4 and 5 ang nauulit. So, kaya meron tayong the 2 decimal, 2 repeating decimal place. So, we have 2 repeating decimal places so we are going to multiply it by 100 so 100 x equals to 45.454545 and so on move mo lang to ng dalawang places okay so since we have our equation number 2 we will subtract it now by our Equation 1, so that is x equals 0 0.454545 and so on. Okay, let us now subtract. So, 100x minus 1x is 99x equals 2. This will become 0 and 45 minus 0 is 45. So, for x, divide both sides by 99, 99. Then cancel. So our x will become 45 over 99. But this can be reduced to its lowest term by dividing it by the GCF of 9. So dividing this, that will become 5 over 11. So therefore, we have 0 0.454545 and so on that is equivalent to 5 over 11 in fraction okay so I will give you a helpful tip um, since we have here one repeating decimal place which is 3 just divide it by 9 for every kapag meron kang isang repeating decimal place, divide by 9. Kapag kadalawa, divide by 99. Kapag tatlo, by 999, and so on. Then, a lowest term, or is simplify by reducing to its lowest term. So, the GCF is 3, that is 1 third. Same. So, in here, so, kung titingnan mo, meron kang dalawang repeating decimal places, so, divide by 99. 
at ano yung dalawang repeating decimal places is 45 okay then reduce by its lowest term by the GC then divide it by its GCF but that is 9 divide them that will become 5 over 11 so we will get the same answer okay so that's all for today I hope you enjoy learning about expressing decimal subtraction and before I end up my video I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. LD and the Likan and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.